Hello my darklings, it's your girl Nyx coming at you with June Witch Casket subscription. So if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Nyx Raven. Every month I do a unboxing of Witch Casket, which is a subscription box that you get each month and it is insane. Each month is packed full of witchy goodies to help you along on your path. Now, you don't have to be just on the witchcraft path. You can be on any path and I can guarantee you these boxes are so useful in all walks of life. I am, myself, I am pagan slash heathen and I do obviously study witchcraft, but I also study shamanism as well as multiple other walks of life, shall we say. So I guess you could class me as an eclectic witch. Um, and I have been using Witch Casket for over a year now, and I can tell you it is just incredible. So what I do is each month uh, I sit down, I have my box ready, which looks like these, and inside contains quite a few good goodies from an amazing mother and daughter um deb and ella they have run witch, ca uh, witch casket for quite some time now uh, it's been a couple of years um and each month are themed so you never get the same item item twice which is perfect because i have a lot of multiple items um which aren't overly necessary so having witch casket being a one month item is perfect. So I am not paid for this. I am not getting my stuff for free. I pay this out of my own pocket and I sit down and do these videos in my own time every month. Um, so I go through the content booklet and then I go through the items, talk to you a little bit about them and I save my, last, my favorite one to two items until last and then show you guys those so pretty simple and let's get cracking so it is june and we are halfway through this year what a half a year it has been i think um last month or the month before when we had one of the elemental boxes i thought it was the last elemental but it's not this month is the last elemental box and this one is earth and i have to say I, I know i say this every month but this one is stunning um it is also their most expensive box that they have created which yeah when i opened it when i got when, when i received this last late last week i was shocked i was stunned i was gagged i was shook i was all of that and it was pure joy. So, without making you guys wait any further, uh, let's dive in. So, Earth Elemental is one of the most known elementals out of all the five because we live on the Earth. We have the Earth surrounding us and it is everywhere and we're never going to be without it. Touch wood. Um, so, yeah, when you think of earth, you think of the greenery, the flowers, the trees, all of the pretty goodness that this Mother Earth, Gaia, has gave us and is still giving us, which we should all count our blessings. So this one is obviously, like I said, earth, and it is their most expensive one, which is insane. Um, so... Through the booklet, we receive a wooden pestle and mortar, which is great. This will be my fourth one I have in my kitchen. A magical wooden flower press. Oh my god, I love the flower press. I've never used one and I've always wanted one. So they read my mind every month, it's great. Um, a gathering bag, which is beautiful. Botanical grimoire cards. A barrier ritual kit. A cold, sorry, gold, cold, gold coated black ritual candle, 
an elemental tiger's eye crystal with information card, an elemental enamel pin, we all know I love my enamel pins, and parchment scroll and a beautiful art print. So, the art print is so pretty. How pretty is she? I love the fact that it's like a little witch. I love it. I love it. I love it. So cute. And obviously the back's always pretty. So that is that one. Now the tiger's eye. This is gorgeous. I have quite a few tiger's eye, but this piece is stunning. So I'll tell you what tiger's eye is. So tiger's eye is the ultimate power stone and amazing stone for success. Tiger's Eye is a grounding stone believed to encourage personal empowerment, courage, charisma, willpowering, okay, willpower, and clear thinking. It is also useful in setting boundaries and ensure your own needs are recognised. I love how they always give information cards because a lot of places don't. So this is the beautiful piece that we have got with the earth element etched in. So that is joining the rest that are on my altar. Love it. Love a bit of tiger's eye. So I did cleanse everything as well on the full moon last week, which was beautiful. The enamel pen, which will be going straight on my jacket in a bit. How cute is that? And I like the back as well. It's like a little mushroom. So I love it, cute, love, love, love. And next we have the gold plated black candle, which when I light it, I will film it because I think I have, I think I might still have the one from the last one. Why aren't you coming out? Come out. Yeah. Thank you. So I'll go through the bucket and tell you why this is the way it is. Because black is for banishment and gold is for success. And the little booklet says, use this black candle for any spell or ritual for banishing, letting go, hex breaking, etc. This unique black ritual candle is dipped in gold to add extra power and success to the ritual. Which is great we always need a little bit of a boost now next i love this bag it's so pretty this is the gathering bag which i love how cute is that printed on both sides i love it yes 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 so you could go out and you can gather your flowers you can gather herbs wild veg, wild fruit, and you have a cute little bag to pop it all in. They like their bags with us, I think. The bags really do help. Next is the cute little pestle and water. I think this is the smallest one in my collection. How cute is this? Love it. Just nice and simple. So great for once you've gathered your herbs and your veg and stuff like that. If you're going to mix things, you know, a little more on pasta. This could even go in your travel altar if you have one, which is a cracking idea. Um, next, we have the Bury It Ritual Kit. I haven't even opened this one yet. So this is a magical ritual to help you bury your past and move on because it is very hard to let go of the past sometimes, if not all times. So inside we have, ooh, what do we have here? We have, ooh, cute. So this, you get a little piece of paper, you get a pencil, which is so cute. If you can see it very well, and there's like the uh, earth symbol with a pretty picture. Cute. 
a little black sparking doll. Uh, this is rosemary and the information card. So for this, at the time when you feel relaxed and at peace, take the paper and note down the things you would like to let go of and leave behind. Uh, da, 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 da. Light the black candle and visualise yourself moving on empowered, free from things you are letting go. Light the paper and allow it to burn into a flame retardant dish. Grind the ashes together with the rosemary and state the following. No more energy I give to thee. This magic spell will set me free. I banish all that, that does me wrong and move ahead feeling strong. Take the ash and rosemary blend away from your home and bury it to signify that you are burying your past and walk away without looking back which is a strong, strong need, okay? Oh, that's really sweet to do this way. Okay, this is gonna finish. My recording on this is really strange. So that is that, which is amazing. And also everything is biodegradable, including the little um, bags that you get with your herbs. I love this, this is so cute. And then we have oh, the, noise. the parchment. Now I have put all of them now into my book shadows and I will do a video at some point and show you guys my book of shadows because it's a slow, but it's, an, it's, it's in, in the works, shall we say, as all book of shadows are. So, we have the elemental the element of earth in magic what is going on with my time where was i <laughs> right parchment scroll sorry my um camera's been really weird with uh recording so the element of, air, of earth in magic. So these give us information on how to use the element in our work. And it will give you a list of herbs and crystals that are really, really good and are connected to the earth element. So um, the crystals that are associated with the earth element are Amazonite, Black Obsidian, Malachite, Mukonite, Mukite, Smoky Quartz, Tiger's Eye, Tiger's Eye, and Petrified Wood. Mm. And then some herbs and plants you can use are Mugwort, Vervain, Whorehound, Honeysuckle, Cypress, and Primrose. So this just gives you some info on what the element is about. Um, you know, the fact that it's uh, the better element for letting go and for giving yourself the power to let go of things as well as moving on from things, which is amazing. So we are down to my final two. Obviously, it is the grimoire cards and the Oh, I've always wanted one. And the flower press, which is adorable. So we'll do the grimoire cards first because the honey press is my ultimate favourite item after this month. Out of pretty much, I think, I, I think it's safe to say it's my favourite one out of all of the caskets that we've had so far. Even though everything is very, very top tier for me, the press is. Yeah, ultimate. I think it's adorable. So these gorgeous grimoire cards are black, matte black, and then a shiny gold edge. So we get some beautiful cards, which this one is your information card, and this is these ritual, these beautiful botanical cards were designed with love and positive energy, and with the modern witch in mind. We hope you enjoy them and find them useful in your practice. Use them to represent their individual qualities on your altar. Incorporate them into spells and rituals. Add them to your book of shadows or your grimoire. 
and they are mini divination aids. So you can pull a card to see what needs to be focused on right now, which is awesome because I do get a little bit stuck mentally. Um, we've had some amazing cards um, over the last couple of months. We've had the moon phase cards and the uh -huh, yearly, and the oracle cards. There we go, that's the word. So we'll go through these. These are so cute. I love how simple they are, but they're so beautiful. So maple leaf is abundance, which is so cute. I do love these cards. Pine needles is letting go. And we have ferrin for clarity. Look how shiny they are, they're so pretty. Toadstool for fertility. Mm. Which is sweet. And they obviously give you some information on um, what they do and what they're good for. Rose hip is for good fortune. Moss is for purification. Acorns are for wisdom. Bark is protection. Thorns are for defense. Succulents, endurance. Chestnuts are for love. And the final one, eucalyptus are for some healing. How cute are they? They're so sweet. We have had some other grimoire, um, some other cards a bit like this, um, giving you information, but it's more on like the herbs and stuff and what they're good for. So the final item is the beautiful flower press. So obviously I've never used one so I didn't know how to use one but it does tell you on the back of the box how to use. So place your chosen flower between two pieces of whiteboard. You now have one flower press set and place the brown corrugated buffer board either side. If you are pressing more than one flower, place a buffer board between each prepared flower set. Place inside the flower press and tighten the press so that it holds the flowers tightly. My cat's idiot. Allow one to two weeks for the drying process and de depending on the flower, maybe even longer until the flower is completely dry. Now you can use your dried flowers in your magical workings to decorate your book of shadow, etc, etc. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's nice and simple as well, which is what I love about this box because nothing's ever like fancy and over the top. You know, everything's like just the right amount. Look how adorable this is. So you can get quite a few flowers pressed into this. So the way we do it is we unscrew these. Knowing me, I'll do that and then they'll fly off. So they come apart like so. Whee! I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> ah, come on. Loosen up. I'll put these tight, tight. I haven't even got no flowers in there yet and I put it on tight by accident. There we go. Only one more. But I love this. It's It's... An extremely simple design but I'm so excited to use it and see because I've never pressed apart from when I was in school I've never pressed flowers before so this is something that is new to me which is pretty cool so once that you've taken them all off you will have like so so you'll have your top piece of wood and then you will get your corrugated hexagon or your spacer or buffer. So you'll have two pieces. You'll have one at the top and one at the bottom. And then you'll have two pieces of white paper. So you'll have one buffer underneath and the other buffer on the top. And then your flower will go in the middle of the two white bits. And then you'll pop that like so, put it in your press and then tighten it up as best as you can and then leave it that's all you got to do and it's so simple and it's so 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 pretty 
so I am super excited because now I have the gathering bag I will be doing some nice gatherings before we lose some of the flowers around so oh my god that is it that is the witch casket box for this month and it is stunning and I can't wait to use every item in this um so yeah I hope you found this video very very useful and as always if you're omening and ahhing about subscribing to Witch Casket, this is the video to say do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now, because you will not be sorry. And like I said, each month, all a different theme, so you don't get the same item twice. Everything is picked by Deb and Ella, and um, the ritual kits are their designs, their work that they use themselves, which is awesome. And yeah, everything is picked with love and, you know, devotion and thought, which is what I love the most about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Blessed be guys.